chase tree berry, or as it's known in Latin, Agnus cactus. This translates to chaste lamb. And this is a, an old, old reference to the monks that would take this, thinking that it would decrease their sexual desire. Now, this is an herb that's much more commonly used in Europe than in the United States, interestingly. And it's famous for supporting healthy female hormone levels, especially healthy progesterone levels. And this generally leads to a healthier menstrual cycle. It can help also with symptoms of menopause, infertility issues, and various other issues that result kind of as a downstream effect of various female hormonal imbalances. Now, looking at how it improves fertility, uh, this is most likely because of its effect on prolactin levels. So chaseberry increases dopamine activity in the brain, which then results in a reduction of prolactin release in the body. And so in women who have a luteal phase defect, this is where you have a shortened second half of the menstrual cycle. So you might be having coitus at the perfect time to get pregnant, but the second half of the cycle is too short and doesn't allow enough time for implantation, you don't get pregnant. So uh, this is commonly seen in women who have too high levels of prolactin. So having chaseberry to bring down the prolactin levels can many times be very helpful for women to get pregnant. Um, and then for, for sleep also, chaseberry is very interesting. So chaseberry is stimulating secretion of melatonin. Uh, so this is helping to regulate your circadian rhythm and establish good sleeping patterns. So not only does it help to balance out lots of hormones, it also helps with melatonin. So overall, this can lead to much better sleep, especially for women who are in say, say perimenopause or menopause when sleep becomes generally much more challenging. Now this is not an herb that you'd be taking in perpetuity generally. For PMS issues, generally one would take it for like four to six months. Uh, for, for conception, it would be something like 12 to 18 months, or of course, up until the point that can, that uh, you're actually pregnant and then you can stop. Uh, now, with when to take it during the month, there's different theories. Um, there's two schools of thought and, and by all means, get approval of your doctor, of your functional medicine doctor, and, and get the, their guidance on how exactly to best do it for you. One school of thought, this is the more conservative approach, is that if you were trying to conceive, you would take it every month up until ovulation and then stop in case you do get pregnant because you don't want to be taking it while pregnant because it's not been studied for safety during pregnancy, as is pretty much the case with most all herbs that we talk about. The other approach, slightly less conservative, is you just keep taking it up until you actually get a positive pregnancy test and then you stop. So that is you know, something to, to go over with your medical provider and see what's the appropriate path for you. Um, but this is an incredible herb that can make life much, much better for so many women. 